Hi guys, welcome to the LTS Academy. My name is Jamie, this is Jen. Hello. Today we're going to teach you how to install the outdoor stations. The outdoor stations include camera modules and sub-modules. As you can see, this is the camera station. It has a built-in microphone and speaker for two-way audio, as well as a two megapixel camera and a button to call the main station. So if you have more than one apartment, you may need a six button module for the different indoor stations. If you have more than seven apartments, we recommend that you use the display module. This will show you all the listed contacts. You can use a keypad module with a display module to call the indoor stations easily, or you can use a passcode to gain entry into the building. If you want to use a card to control your access, you can go with a MyFair card reader and set up using a passcode to gain entry. If you are in a dark or loud environment, you may choose to use our indicator module, which will help confirm that your call was successful. Our indicator module will light up as you're calling, when you're speaking, as well as when the door is open. Before we connect the sub-modules to the camera module, we must pre-configure the sub-module address. On the back of each sub-module, it has a dip switch. Each dip switch has eight buttons. Buttons one, two, three, and four are used to code the sub-module's addresses. Buttons five, six, and seven are reserve buttons. Button eight is a resistance. Normally, we only use buttons one, two, three, and four. You need to turn the different buttons for different sub-modules. For example, for the first sub-module, you need to turn on the first button. For the second sub-module, you need to turn on the second button and keep others off. We have included the dip rule below so you can follow it directly. We need to use the RS-485 cable for the camera module and the sub-module to transfer power and data. Here we have your camera module, which is the main module in the system. You have PoE in, which provides power and data, as well as access control terminals. Here you have your RS-45 out, which then plugs into your RS-45 in on the sub-modules. To connect your sub-modules to your main camera module, use your RS-45 cable connect it into the out port of the camera module. Then plug it into your sub-modules in port. Continue connecting modules by going from the out port to the in port. And as you can see, the finished product, we have a flush mount and we have our surface mount. Obviously, you can see the camera modules in here as well as the display module in the keypad as I spoke about previously. And you can also see the indoor stations as well. Thank you for watching. Look out for episode two, coming soon. You can use the keypad module, display module, to help you call the indoor stations easier. No? You can use the keypad module, display module, to <laughs> You can use the keypad module with the display module to call the inside station easily. Or you can use a keypad to gain entry. <laughs> Don't laugh. I was grooving. <laughs> there you were. Really? You can use a keypad module. I said modules. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, ready, ready, ready? Yeah, right. outtakes. <laughs> you can use a keypad module with a display module to call the indoor stations easily, or you can use a passcode to gain entry. To connect your sub modules to your main camera model module, connect your sub modules to your main camera module. <laughs> to connect your sub modules to your main camera module, you use, use your. <laughs> to connect your sub modules to your main camera module, you use you use your.